Have you guys seen Gypsy Rose Blanchard's newest Get Ready With Me video here on YouTube? My name is Pearl. Welcome to Little Scary Stories. Come on in, Pearlies. Let's talk about people. And by people, I mean Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Let's get right into it, honey. Okay, so she did a video, uh, a Get Ready With Me video, and it seemed very awkward, but girl, and I don't want to play the clip because the video is here on YouTube. Um, it, when she was getting ready, you could clearly hear I guess her dad or somebody in the background was saying, you're full of shit. That's bullshit, child. I was so busy trying to be nosy. I was zooming in, you know, amplifying the sound. Um, I don't want to play the clip and her give me a copyright strike or something. So I'm not going to play it, but you can go see it yourself. Anyway, she seemed really awkward in the video. She was doing the self tanner. The, the self tanner looked pretty good. Um, and then she was doing her hair, saying that she uses the same curl and iron that she did in prison. Um, and she just came off really awkward. And then I was saying to myself, well, maybe she's awkward because, you know, it's her first real YouTube video. I know she's trying to be an influencer. She's basically said that she would like to be an influencer. So she's trying to beef up her TikTok and her Instagram and her YouTube. She's she's trying, girl. She's trying. But she she's been doing her reality show. So why would she seem awkward? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And there's a lot of gossip I need to talk about, child, but not on this video. I'll have to be on a on another. Should I put it on this video? What do you guys think? Well, while I have you on the line, I might as well. Anyway, why do you think she seems so awkward and her personality seemed different? I think she's trying to be something she's not or someone she's not. I think she's trying to be likable. Personally, I thought it was kind of boring, but, you know, get ready with me videos aren't my thing. You know, they kind of bore me anyway, but I don't know. She just seemed different. Okay, girl, let me tell you about the drama that's been going on. I think I posted it. I have it posted. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on my page. It's the video before this one. So Ryan um, has been calling Gypsy a lot, girl. So much so that Gypsy said she's going to need to change her number. But Ryan also said that Gypsy's called him and said that she misses him. So Ryan isn't really all technically over Gypsy. So he does text her. Now, he has said on his lives that he's only texted her twice. I don't, I think it's a little more than that, in my opinion, allegedly, of course. And he uses, like, Google voice numbers and things like that because she's blocked his number. But you have to look at it from Ryan's side. Like, one day they're happily married and the next day I'm leaving your ass for Ken. Okay, you got to look at it from his side. Like, you know, think of the shock of it all. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like he truly loves Gypsy. Like, really is ma madly in love with Gypsy. I think Ken also cares for Gypsy and loves her, but not as much as Ryan. I think Ryan genuinely cares for her well-being. And although he looked like he was controlling um on on the stupid show, I don't think he was. I, I just think um he was trying to be a supportive husband. He was trying to do right by Gypsy. Um, you know, he wasn't gonna be manipulated by Gypsy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he was ever manipulated by her. He doesn't seem like the sort that can easily be manipulated. I think he stands up for himself fairly well. Now, Ken, on the other hand, anyway, I just think they made Ryan look very controlling on that show. And he was really just trying to be supportive and trying to hang in there. Now, he has said on his lives that Christy does not like him and has done everything to kind of, you know, get him split up with Gypsy, allegedly, but he did say that on his live, honey. He said on his live that Gypsy flat on, flat out cheated on him. Okay, not in so many words, but you know what I'm saying. And girl, the whole Ken thing, I, I think Ken is a little jealous of Ryan because, you know, Gypsy feels bad for Ryan. I, I do think that she does feel like she screwed him over, like she broke his heart, you know? You could tell that she does feel that. Um, I don't think the Ken thing's gonna last, and I'm gonna say this for the record. 
I think Gypsy's going to end up going back with Ryan, even though Christy doesn't want it. And I have a, I have a theory. And this is my own opinion, allegedly, a theory, speculation. Why am I whispering, child? Because I'm gossiping. I hope you're close to the phone. Anyway, I think Christy doesn't like Ryan because Ryan's on the ball. He's on top of things. He's looking out for Gypsy's welfare and her money. I think Christy, allegedly in my own personal opinion, theory, speculation, has another agenda. I th I think Christy would like a, a good amount of, of Gypsy's money. And if it's in a trust with her name on it, allegedly somebody said it was, child, but I don't know. That proves it. Now, I don't trust Christy, but nobody tell anybody I said that, okay? She just... I don't get a good vibe, but I could be wrong. I don't know the woman. I've never spoken to the woman. You know, I don't know anything about her. It's just the vibe I get. I could absolutely be wrong. My name is Pearl. This is Little Scary Stories. If you have not followed me and you love gossip, <laughs> child, you better hit that button that says subscribe and then go ahead and hit the bell so you know when my videos get uploaded and then go ahead and get a like because I mean, hit the like because, you know, that way I know you like me because that helps. Anyway, I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July and you have a great 4th of July weekend.